Hey everyone! Welcome to 601 Travels and to the What Makes This Place Great series, where we explore U.S. cities and points of interest and then tell you our favorite top 10 spots you need to see. If you've ever wondered what there is to do in Savannah, Georgia, then you are in luck. Today, we're going to see and explore what makes Savannah a great place. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. While you're watching, comment below where you would like to go next. The city of Savannah has just over 145,000 people and is known as the Hostess City, located in southeastern Georgia, right about here on a map. Savannah is the site of a lot of history, and the city retains all of its southern charm and charisma. From historic sites to great entertainment venues, there's a little bit of everything to do here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 things that make Savannah a great place. Number 10, Forsyth Park. If you close your eyes and picture Savannah, you probably think of huge trees, gardens, and history. That is exactly what Forsyth Park is. It's absolutely beautiful and is very tranquil. Located in a historic district, you'll find 30 acres of trees that have paths navigating through them. In the center is a huge fountain that is the focal piece of the park. This is a favorite for locals and tourists and is the perfect spot to take a walk, have a wedding, or even an open air concert. This is one of the most photographed places in Savannah, and it's easy to see why. Number 9. City Market This is the part of town that you want to check out if you're looking for the hip and trendy entertainment district. During the day, you'll find a ton of shops and art studios. There's also live entertainment in the square too. But by night, the area transforms into a place you want to be if you're going out with friends, looking for friends, or maybe looking for a special someone. There's a lot of bars and establishments for grown-ups and aren't very family friendly. If you are new in town, it may be a good option to mingle with the like-minded people. Just make sure to visit earlier in the day if you've got children. Number 8. Wormslow Historic Site it does not get more savannah and picturesque than this. Seriously, if this is the only thing that you see while you're in town, you will at least have an accurate representation as to how beautiful savannah is. The Wormslow Historic Site is at the end of this mossy oak lined drive. It is a colonial estate that is the oldest standing structure in savannah. There's a hike and nature trail around the ruins and a museum at the site as well. Depending on when you're there, you may be lucky and catch a reenactment. Make sure you put this one on your list of places to visit while you're here. Number 7. River Street Once a district called Warehouse Row and involved in the cotton industry, River Street was abandoned for decades following the yellow fever pandemic. Revitalized in the 1960s, it has made a comeback and is now a popular destination in the city. The abandoned warehouses were turned into dozens of businesses, including boutique shops, restaurants, and galleries, and they are very popular. Today, you can take a walk along the river and explore these businesses while you feel the history these buildings still hold on to. Number six, Leopold's Ice Cream. For the past 100 years, this ice cream parlor has been a part of Savannah and is a hot spot in the city. Or maybe a cold spot. Either way, it's not just your regular little eatery. Opened in 1919, they are an authentic old-fashioned ice cream parlor. They have a menu filled with not only ice cream, but soups and sandwiches as well. They pride themselves on great southern hospitality, so make sure you go there for something sweet. Number 5. Tybee Island Located just about 20 minutes from downtown, if you're wanting to spend a day at the beach, head to Tybee Island. This barrier island is where people go when they want to feel some sand in between their toes. 
With almost three miles of sandy beaches, you can spend the day laying out, swimming, kayaking, or fishing. There are also many trails to walk or bike if you aren't interested in catching some rays. A pretty neat feature of Tybee Island is that it was once the home to Fort Screven and there are still gun batteries there. There's also a functioning 18th century lighthouse and a museum too if you feel like exploring while you're there. Number 4. The University of Georgia Aquarium If you're into sea animals and wildlife, make sure to stop in here. Georgia's first saltwater aquarium has 16 exhibit tanks for you to view. Many of the sea life that are on display were captured right off the coast of Savannah by the staff. You will have the opportunity to access touch tanks so you can see and touch things up close. The aquarium offers educational exhibits and computer labs to further inform its visitors of the animals that they keep. This is a great destination for families as it is very interactive and educational. Number three, Old Fort Jackson Historic Site. Built in 1808, Old Fort Jackson is the oldest standing brick fort in Georgia and attracts 50,000 visitors per year. Named after a Georgia governor who freed Savannah from the British rule, it is built entirely from earth and then faced with brick and topped with a wooden platform. Today, you can tour the fort yourself and see views of the Savannah River. There are many things to explore and see at the fort as well, as places to sit and take in everything around you. Home to the site of many reenactments, they have daily cannon firings through the summer. Come see an important part of the American history at this living museum. Number two, Tricentennial Park. Much more than a beautiful piece of green space, Tricentennial Park is the perfect place for the entire family. Plus on site, there are three museums, the Savannah History Museum, the State Railroad Museum, and the Children's Museum. There's enough here to keep you and your family entertained for at least a day and capture your children's attention while they learn. The park itself is 25 acres in size and is the site of the second deadliest battle of the Revolutionary War, where 800 soldiers lost their lives on October 9th, 1779. Number one, Telfair Museum of Art. At over 200 years old, this museum is an icon in Savannah and was the first public art museum in the entire United States. It is located in the historic district of the city and is one of the top attractions for those interested in both history and art. Consisting of three buildings, you'll find both American and European art here. The Telfair Museum is the best place in a city to see great artwork and sculptures and learn about the history of Savannah through them. Alright everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Do you think I missed anything? Comment below what your favorite thing is about Savannah, Georgia. If you liked it, please give a big thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care!